Good morning, everyone. Here we are. We get another dose of God's Word this morning to get our day started off right. And this morning, I want to look at a passage in Matthew, the fourth chapter. This particular passage is the one that's dealing with Jesus was tempted by the devil after he'd fasted for uh, 40 days. Now, the Bible says, beginning in Matthew 4, and in verse 1, it says that Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up to the holy city. He set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan. For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. Very interesting uh, passage of what we have here. Here we have Jesus, he's God in the flesh. And Satan comes and he throws every trick in the book that he can think of. And it's the same old things that he uses for us. He appeals to the flesh. He appeals to our needs. He appeals to popularity um, and power. He appeals to uh, the uh, mercy of God. Say, well, just go ahead and do what you're going to do. God loves you and he's not going to let anything happen to you. But we need to really understand of how Jesus handled this. For first of all, here it is, uh, Satan comes to him when Jesus, he thinks, is most vulnerable. He hadn't eaten anything for 40 days, so what does he come? He throws the physical need um, uh, at Jesus. You know, he does that to us. You know, I don't have time to serve God. I need to work. I need to make a family. You know, I need to provide for my family. I need to, you know, I need to chase that dollar. I need to have, you know, all of these other types of things. I don't have time for God. Well, that's the idea that Satan is trying to get us to rely on ourselves and not focus um, on God. But how did Jesus respond to that? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And then he hits him with with this idea of uh, testing God. Well, just go ahead and do what you're going to do. God loves you. He's not going to let anything happen to you. He gave, you know, speaking you know, you know, for us, he gave his son for you. He's not going to let anything to happen. Just go on and live the ways you want to do. Go ahead and do all these kind of things. How did Jesus respond to that? You should not test the Lord, uh, your God. You see, in these first two, what's he got? What's he trying to? What's, what's he trying to get to here? Get our focus off of God, and get focus on self. The third thing that he comes. If you'll bow down and worship me, I'll give you all this. Power, prestige, popularity, you know, and all of these types of things. Again, what was the point? Getting focus off of God and getting it on self. And how did Jesus respond to that? Well, he says, away with you, Satan. For it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God. Now, here's a, here, here's a powerful lesson I think that we can learn. G, uh, or Satan, you know, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and pride of life. All of these temptations, everything's going to fall into those, one of those three categories. And how was it that Jesus was able uh, to uh, brush off Satan uh, with all these temptations? with all of these things. I think this is a very important point. I think it's relative to us this day. Is everything that Satan tried to throw at Jesus, Jesus already had them. Think about that for a minute. He already had the kingdoms of the world. He is the king of the world. He tried to throw food at him. 
He's got all the food he ever wants. <laughs> he wants to eat. He can turn bread and fishes in, into abundant food. You, you see? Um, safety. He was already safe with God. He didn't have to prove that. So everything that Satan tried to throw at Jesus, he already had it. And see, that's the thing with you and I, is that we, when, if we're a child of God, then we need to come to understand, I've already got everything I need. How did Jesus answer the food question? I got the word of God. That's all I need. It's more important, actually, is what he was saying here. And I, I'm going to worship God. I don't care about popularity. I don't care about you know, uh, money. I don't care about prestige. I don't care about being popular. I, I, I've got God. That's all I care. That's the only thing that's important to me. So you see, we are able to overcome any temptation that we come across in this life. When we stop and we realize... I've already got the best that there is to have. That's my relationship and salvation in Jesus Christ. You see, we can overcome any single temptation when we come to realize, if I'm a child of God, I've already got the best that there is. I am fulfilled. I am happy. I am complete because I have God, because I have fellowship with him. You see, that's in essence, that's what Jesus is 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 making the, the point to Satan here. I already got all this. So when so when temptations come and they knock on our doors, and they begin to uh, try to pull us and, and try to get us into certain things, all we have to do is just catch our breath, step back, and say, "Wait a minute, I, I've already got everything that makes me happy and makes me complete." And that, my friends, is the salvation and the hope and the forgiveness that is in Jesus Christ. There's your dose of God's word today. You can overcome any temptation when you come to that realization of what we have or what you can have in Jesus Christ. I hope it'll do you some good. There's your dose of God's word, and I hope it'll get your wheels turning. And do you some, I hope it'll be good medicine for you um, because we need these things each and every day in our lives. And so there's your dose of God's word, and Lord willing, tomorrow, We'll get back and we'll get another dose to wrap our week up. And Lord willing, we'll see you again tomorrow. Y'all have a great day.